Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. Welcome to Collection Miss 2023 where we do one of my different luxury collections every day for 24 days through the month of December. Those collections are predominantly based around my luxury handbag collection of over 400 luxury handbags, but this year, like today, we're doing some extra ones. So if that sounds appealing to you, please remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today we're going to do my luxury scarf collection. Now, I know, I have my baguettes up behind me from Fendi. No, that was yesterday's video. I'll link it down below for you. Today we're doing my scarves. I have quite an extensive luxury scarf collection. I would say I have maybe 150. I feel like I've definitely got over 100. There's a lot. I've never counted them. So the only way I could really do this was to choose my favorites. So I chose 15 of my favorite luxury scarves to feature today. So we will only be doing 15 for that reason. Um, I just can't do them all. There are too many. There's just too many. But before we start um, my scarves, we first need to do all our housekeeping. So my shirt of the day, which just says Christmas, and we've got all the little Christmas characters lined up, which is very much based around the TV show Friends. And you can see that. Um, sad face about Matthew um, Perry. That was, that was a tough one. I love friends. I really do love friends. Um, and I've got my Christmas earrings on, which are just from Kmart in Australia. And my headband of the video, which also, also comes from Kmart in Australia, which is very simple, which is just this plastic um, bow that you see on presents often. And I think I'm going to wear it this way. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, so that's my headband of the video. I also got in the mail and I am incredibly grateful from my beautiful friend Deb at Wild Unfiltered. She sent me a Christmas card and I'm pretty sure it was made direct with Moon Pig and shipped direct to me. Um, and she just wanted to wish me a fabulous Christmas um, and to say that she's so grateful to have me in her life and I feel very much the same about her. Um, and even though we live so far apart, I'm grateful for the friendship and support. Thanks, Deb. I love Deb. So I'll link Deb's channel down below. She is the loveliest, loveliest lady. And in addition to the beautiful card that she sent me, she also sent me... Harrods Christmas decorations. Now, I have a Harrods Christmas decoration. I had the little green bear that my mother-in-law bought back from um, London one year. So uh, I, or, or she had it sent to us from Harrods. I can't remember. Anyway, my mother-in-law definitely gave it to us. But I have all the other ones now. So these ones are gonna fit in nicely with the little green one and I didn't end up with any doubles. So thank you so much for sending them, Deb. They're beautiful. I'm gonna go put them on my tree. If my children are very nice, I might let them put them on the tree, but I've got my little Harrods bears and I think they're great. So that was from Deb at Wild Unfiltered, who is a good friend. All right, <clears throat> let's look at these scarves. I will hold them up, but I will find a way to insert photos of the entire scarf because some of them are just too big to really get any kind of understanding of what the print is like on screen. So I will take photos and then insert the photos so you can see the whole scarves. These are my 15 favorite scarves. So first off, from Hermes, we have a silk scarf, goes this way. And I loved this whole range from Hermes. So it's a horse superhero. Let's see if we can get that in. So you can see the horse is a superhero and it says down the bottom, Super H, <laughs> which I just think is awesome. And then they're putting the H up into the sky to call in the superhero. I love this. Hermes is such a... Um, you know, I, I suppose a quiet luxury brand to a certain point. They tend to be 
very subdued, but I love when they do this kind of stuff. Like it's just out there. So I love this one. I love that it's in the black and white and the grays and that it's just got the pink touch and the yellow touch over here. I love this whole design. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm pretty sure they did this in a few different colors, but I loved this one. I just thought it was very comic book inspired. So that's my first one. I have to hang all these up later. <laughs> And then my second one, so for anyone who's interested, this is how my scarves hang. They're on velvet hangers and they're very slim lined so I can get lots onto a rack. And then I've just bought um, clothes racks from Ikea and they just hang. And anyone who's interested in what my setup is like, I am doing a bag room tour, which will go up on New Year's Day Australian time. So it'll be New Year's Eve for most of the rest of the world because we hit... Um, New Year's Day only second to New Zealand um, uh, and some of the islands obviously in between New Zealand <laughs> and Australia. Um, so if you're interested to see how I store things that'll be a good one for you so mark your calendars for that. Okay a recent addition to my collection is this one so this is the I think they're flamingos or as my five-year-old likes to call them flamingos and it's one of those speech, those things about her speech that I really don't want to correct because it's really kind of cute, like flamingo, flamingo. I'm sure at some point she'll grow out of it. She's five and I correct her and she still says flamingo, but for now, it's a cute thing for me. Anyway, so I think they're flamingos. I could be completely wrong. I might be a completely different type of bird. I am not overly up on my birds. You might be surprised to find, but they're roller skating. There's two of them and they're all intertwined and it's in this great color. And yes, I know I don't do orange, but here we are with an orange scarf. And this did come in other colorways, but the orange was actually the nicest one. I thought it was the brightest and I loved it. So yes, we have that one also. All right, next one is a Louis Vuitton scarf. This one, um, Winnie from Winnie BLV pointed out to me on the resale market and I was on it. I was absolutely on it. I had to own this. So thank you, Winnie, for making me aware. So this is a Louis Vuitton scarf and it is The Wizard of Oz. I love The Wizard of Oz. I love The Wizard of Oz. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, Wicked is my absolute favorite musical of all time. And yes, so when she pointed that this, uh, this scarf out to me, I was all over it. I love it. I've had it dry cleaned um, and it's just beautiful. I love this scarf. So I am so grateful that Winnie put me onto it. So there's that one. And then back to another Hermes scarf. This one is all about the colors for me. It's just gorgeous. So <laughs> the hand, if I turned it around the right way for you guys. So silk, silk scarf, we're going up in size. It is a size, I wanna say it's, it's bigger than a 90. Is it a 120? Might be a 120. Um, so I'll obviously insert a picture of it as it is, but it's all these different colored plumes in this purple and pink. And, you know, if you guys watch me, you know that these are my colors and I just, I think it's so pretty and Hermes just do beautiful scarves. Unlike some of the other ones, this one is just a plain on the back. But it's just, it's so pretty with all these colors. I love it. Um, yeah, color will always get me. Um, or sometimes, having said that, the black and white one means a lot to me as well. I guess it's all about the art of them. And that's really what silk scar what these scarves are. They're art. They're wearable art. And that that for me means that you can look at colors that you might not ordinarily, ordinarily look at. You can look at designs that you hadn't considered before. It can be playful. It can be fun. So yeah, scarves are an area where you can really um, explore things that you might not explore in your bags or your normal wardrobe. And I love that about scarves. Okay. My very first scarf ever that I bought, and this is easy over 20 years old. It's an Hermes scarf. And it's not overly exciting, but it's one of my favorites because it is 20 years old. And you can see that even at that point, I was all about the pink. So we've got the horse and it just says Hermes. So they've taken the word Hermes and the um, check pattern to create 
the horse in there and I think that's awesome so yeah this was definitely one that when I saw it I wanted it it was my very first silk scarf ever um, and the fact that it still works in my wardrobe all these years later and this still very much my color palette um, clearly I I had a moment of knowing that I should go with a bright color and like I said before a scarf was something that was for me safe to do that in um, I didn't look at it and go I should go with a, a what people perceive to be a neutral I should go with a black I should go with something that I wore every, wear every day I didn't do that with a scarf because a scarf is an option to wear art and make it colorful and even in my 20s I made a good decision so um, I do love this scarf for that reason all right the next one is also a Louis Vuitton scarf and we have oops Viv so this is my Viv scarf and she is in Paris um, which I love and I got this before I went to Paris, so handy. So you've got big Viv, and then you've got lots of little Vivs in there. And she's at Palace Vendome in the middle there. They've put Vendome right in the middle, but this is all of Paris. So you've got the Eiffel Tower over here. So yeah, I love this. I bought it last year, the year before, I can't even remember, before I even had plans to go to Paris, I bought this. I just, I loved all the vivs and I loved the little buildings and it was a good decision because I ended up going to Paris, so handy. But it does have orange on the edges, but predominantly there is more pink in it than orange. Okay, the next one. So this Hermes scarf was also a this year purchase, I wanna say. It is a re-edition of Jackie Onassis's favorite scarf from Hermes that she wore all the time. So this is a staple in the Hermes world, this design. Um, I feel like they might do it in a different color as well. But as soon as um, my sales associate said that this was a Jackie Onassis staple because she loved it so much and she wore it all the time, I wanted my own. And I do love it. I think it's a great design. It reminds me of my high school years when the star, sun and moon pattern in the blue and the yellow was very popular here in Australia. And I had everything in it from bedspread to pillow to whatever. So it does give me that vibe as well. Um, and I love it. They actually do this in a um, silk shirt. So Hermes has a service where you can buy, I think it's five or six silk scarves and they make it into a shirt. It obviously costs more than the five or six scarves because then they're also going to make it. But this is one of the ones that they do that for. So you can get this scarf made into a shirt if you want. Um, but I love this and I love that Jas Jackie Onassis story that she loved it so much that uh, um, Hermes continued to make it. Okay, the next one is also an Hermes scarf. <laughs> Predominantly most of them are Hermes. <laughs> and we have this one. Nobody's surprised that I chose this because of the colors. <laughs> this one is really cool because it has dogs. <laughs> and Autumn Beckman, if you watch this, you need this scarf because I believe that these are sausage dogs, mate. <laughs> So, and Autumn Beckman has the cutest dogs. If you're not watching her, she's got a great Vlogmas. Go and watch her Vlogmas. I'll link her channel down below. But her dogs feature heavily in them, Roxy and Baron. And I believe, Baron? Is it Baron who's the sausage dog? Well, I think that, I think Autumn needs this scarf because there is your sausage dog. Plus you've got the horse behind, which is very cool. But these colors, look at these colors. How much fun is this? I just love it and if you can see the sausage dogs uh, and the heart are stitched so can I get that to show it so it's all stitching around the heart so it's like it's been added on what well, has been added on so they took the scarf and then they added it on and the reason you know that is because when I turn around you have a much better picture of the horse but when I turn it this way you lose the horse to the dogs so very cool I love this. I love the colors on this. All right. The next is one of, well, these are all my favorites. I understand that. I keep saying it's my favorite. It's my favorite. I know. This um, series that was created for Hermes was 
released about the time that I started shopping at Hermes and I saw it and I loved the whole message behind it. So this um, series was called Space Derby and I think they still have Space Derby stuff in. And I think this is the first scarf I got, but I got a few, uh, I have a few of these in different colors. I just love this color the most. So this Space Derby creation was all around women empowerment. So you can see the rider here is a woman. Um, and in a lot of them, there are female characters for the Space Derby. And it's about women's empowerment and showing women it's strong um, and they can hold their own. And I just love that. It's got that comic book feel to it again. Um, but these colors are just beautiful and I love it. I love the whole Space Derby um, story that they had. I have many of these scarves. I have Twillies in this. Space Derby was a big one for me. Okay, the next one, also Hermes, and is one of my most recent scarves. So if you watched any of my recent unboxings, you will know this one. This one is um, uh, not silk. It's a cotton blend. Uh, is it cotton? What did we decide it was? It's um, cashmere, sorry, cashmere. It's a cashmere blend, and it's the horse poking its tongue out. <laughs> I love it. You can see from my choices that I I love the playful things. I love the playful scarves that these houses do. I love the different things. I do really see them as wearable art. So I do go for the really different things, the really vibrant colors, the really out there prints, the, the things that have stories to them or make me laugh. They're the ones that I want to choose. So that's it's a new addition, but definitely has quickly become one of my favorites. Uh, this one from Louis Vuitton is not um, about the print. It's about the color. So you can see this is an ombre. So it has Louis Vuitton print all through it. And hopefully that comes up on camera. There's all the LVs and fleur de -lises, which are very, very subtle. But look at these colors. So you, you get the gradient. And these are all my colors. Like you've got pastel blue, pink, purple, teal, pink, purple. Like this is my color palette. This is me in a scarf. Everything on this scarf I would wear in my wardrobe. It's gorgeous. So, and that's why I bought it because there is not a single color on this that I would not own clothes in. This teal, I wish they would make more clothes in that color because I'm desperately searching for pieces of my wardrobe in that teal and they're really hard to find. All right, so that's that one. This one, this one was hunted for me. So I heard about this from oh, someone. I don't know who told me about this. Someone did. And I was like, hang on a minute. They make a scarf like that. I need to find it. So I told my sales associate and he said, we don't have one in Sydney. There's one in Brisbane. He facilitated me buying it through the Brisbane store and having it sent to me. I wanted it so bad. So it's hard to see because it is blue on blue on blue. Um, but let me see upside down. So and if you watch me regularly, you know that in my family, there is certainly a music tie. My husband is very musical. We have a music studio here, like a full setup studio. Um, and uh, so we have most certainly that tie to the entertainment industry. Um, so this is, um, like I said, it's going to be really hard to see. So I'll do some cutaways with um, closer um, pictures. It is a rock concert, but the um, performers and all the audience are horses. How cool is that? I love it. I love that this is just so playful and so cool. I really hope that I can manage to get photos that show it up really well because it is such dark coloring. It was the only one left in Australia. I don't know if they ever did it in another color. I wish they'd done it in a slightly lighter color, but we take what we can get. But in this blue, it's just great. And it's got like, can see the speakers and it's just a whole rock concert setup. I love how cool this is and it's ironic because tonight I'm going to see Foo Fighters so <laughs> it was a good day to get that out. All right two three more to go. Oh, oh, let's just put you down there and you down there. All right this one. Oh. 
so next one is this one. Oh, it's a very, very, very big scarf. Oh, so this is a Dior scarf. I have a few Dior scarves and I've tried to choose ones from most fashion houses. I don't think I have any Fendi scarves. Off the top of my head, maybe, oh, maybe I do. If I do, I'd only have like one maybe. But this is a Dior one. I don't own a lot of Dior ones. It is massive. Once again, it was the colors. I loved this blue. This navy blue and white is very much Dior. I was also very much drawn to the, the um, textile of this. It is so soft and so beautiful. Let me tell you what it is. 70% cashmere and 30% silk. So it's not unlike um, my horse one from Hermes, but it's just beautiful. It's got the animals, it's got um, a real nautical theme to it. It's oh, it's just gorgeous. Like, look, look at the um, giraffes. Like, it's just beautiful. I'll put up a photo. Wait, it's hard to show in shot, but I just love this. And I love the size of this. It's a great one to travel with. It's massive. So that is a Dior scarf. I have also pulled a Chanel scarf. So I did recently sell one of the Chanel scarves that I had that I did like, but I wasn't wearing it. So I got, so I sold it on. This one I picked up and I put back, like I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So it's this, so it's a winter scarf. It's it's much warmer than all the other ones that I've got, but it's got this, you know, Christmas jumper feel to it almost. Um, I'm sure this has a name, this type of pattern, but we don't see a lot of these here in Australia because Christmas time for us is summer and even in winter it doesn't get overly cold so I'm sure this has a, a name to it when this this style of jumper but I honestly don't know what it is but I just love that it's black and white and gray and then you've got pink as well so there's the pink CC on it but you can see through here there's got the pink background to it it's got black on the ends so this is a hundred percent cashmere it's not overly wide, it's only that wide, um, but it is super long. So it's a proper winter scarf. And I just love this one from Chanel. Um, I think it's beautiful. So there's that one. And then my last one. So this is my most expensive scarf. Um, I've never worn it out yet, um, but I'm sure I will one day. So Hermes will do um, exceptional pieces in their scarf range. And they're exceptional in that they are hand beaded. Um, they don't do a lot of fun in that range. And this one most certainly wouldn't be considered fun either. It's just stunning and beautiful. Um, but it's the hand beating on these pieces. They are not cheap because of that, but they are so beautiful. So this has still got the tag on it because I've never even taken the tag off. So it's a 100% silk scarf, but then it's a triangle. So I see this as a stole more than anything. So I can wear this if I'm going, so say I were to go to a show or like the Sydney Symphony, or if I were to go to the opera or the ballet, then I could most certainly wear this over a beautiful dress and it would dress it up and be appropriate to the occasion. Um, I'm not wearing this down the pub. I'm just <laughs> putting that out there. So let me see if I can get close enough. So you can see all these beads are completely hand stitched onto this beautiful blue silk. It is gorgeous it and this is where i'm talking about it's not much fun like it, on the viewfinder it doesn't look like it's coming up a whole heap and i'll get better photos for you but because it's red on dark blue it is hard to see i have seen several other pieces since i bought this one that were also all in dark colors my sales associate sends them to me when they come in and i'm just like give me something fun Give me something that's out there. Like if they did something like this and it was in all different colors, I would absolutely go nuts for it. This one was bought specifically to be that kind of refined um, event piece. Like if I had to go to something where I needed to dress in a very specific way um, and to, you know, not that you can't dress any way you want, wherever you go, but there are events that I go to that you're expected to fit in, if you will, or you're expected to dress appropriately for that event. And that 
requires you to be a little bit more refined and a little bit more in the box rather than out of the box. And this is what this piece is for. It's for fit fitting those kind of occasions. Um, and it's just gorgeous. Oh, it shows up well in the light. There you go. Um, yeah, so it is one of my favorite scarves because every bead on this was hand stitched. I know how much time this must have taken. I don't sew, but I can tell you if I've got to sew something up, one of my children puts a hole in something like their toys or whatever, and I'm sewing it up. If it takes me that long to work out how to sew that, to sew this, like it's, it's a lot of work. So I appreciate the work that went into this and how beautiful it is for that piece of art that I now own, but not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. If you want much cheaper art, go with the silk scarves. Um, Hermes silk scarves aren't cheap, um, most certainly, but in terms of cost at Hermes, they're, they're not that bad, I don't think. And one good bright scarf or one scarf that is a wearable piece of art can be worn in so many different ways and can be worn forevermore. So scarves can be a really good investment if you learn how to wear them. I don't wear mine anywhere near enough. Um, and people often say to me, will you do a styling video and show us how to wear them? And I would love to, but I don't wear mine enough to be completely confident in doing that on camera. As my children are getting older, I'm returning more to a style and putting more effort into what I wear, but I'm still not there yet. For the most part, most days I get around with no makeup in a pair of leggings and a shirt and that's it because I'm up and I'm gone. I don't have to dress for the office and I'm still mum, mum dressing if you will, but I'm slowly moving away from that as my kids get older and I will return to wearing scarves again as they get to a point where I don't have to worry about them as much and they're more independent. They just get up and get themselves ready with minimal screaming in the mornings. Um, but yes, these are all my favorite scarves. These are my 15 favorite scarves for today. The day I am filming this, they are my 15 today. If you ask me tomorrow, you might get a slightly different variation on that. Um, they're just, they're, it was hard. I went through all my scarves and I love them all for different reasons. That wearable art is everything to me. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload videos, which is usually three times a week. And that's about to start again because we are almost at the end of Collectionmas. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.